Hello friends, how are we doing today? I decided I wanted to do another Sunday reset because by the end of the week, my house is chaotic, my life is chaotic, so it's time to get everything back in order. We're in my closet right now. I have a couple things I wanna do in this day in the life or vlog. I need to go through all my beauty products and get rid of a ton of stuff. I also have that huge haul from that video where we shop together. I'll link that video down below if you haven't seen it already, but we did a huge shopping trip online and all the stuff came in basically, I think. So we're gonna do a little haul, which is exciting. I'm trying to keep my closet organized somewhat. We just have a few things to do today and I wanna get them all done. There was something else, haul, beauty products. I don't know, we'll figure it out. I've been keeping up with laundry for the most part. I only have one more laundry to do today besides bedding. So props to me. Who knew a queen could do so much laundry in a week? Not I. Now the rest of my house is chaotic, but at least laundry is done and that's all we can ask for my closet is a little bit of a disaster right now hold on let me show you this is what i'm currently working on oh i got these bags by the way to hold my purses just like little dust bags so i could still see what everything is sorry this is where you're currently sitting up there but yeah i got all these bags for my purses and it's been working out really well the color came in a little bit different than expected so I was considering returning them and getting a color that I actually love. But I don't want to be wasteful and like send something back. So I don't know. I just did my skincare and my nose is so itchy. That is problematic. But yeah, I just wanted to clean... I wanted to clean some stuff with you. Maybe if you have some stuff to clean, you can just throw this video on and hear me in the background. I know I do that when I'm watching a, I watch videos while I clean. So the time goes by faster. All right, now the real question is, is this clean or is this dirty? I don't know. We're just gonna err on the side of caution <laughs> and say that's dirty. This is definitely clean. So how did everybody's week go? I got a lot done work-wise, which was great. Not enough done house-wise, but like I said, my one goal was accomplished and I chose that goal to be laundry. So, I mean, not all was lost. All right, these underwear are garbage. I ripped a ginormous hole in them. I've had them for like years since undergrad. <laughs> Everything is clean and yeah, it's probably a better view. This is the never full pouch. This is my YSL bag. This is the Rebecca Minkoff bag that I love. And then the never full beautiful closet. So our mission today is to keep cleaning and then also make sure that that closet stays clean as well as everything else that we have to do today. So here's all the boxes for the haul. All the stuff came in today. So let's just jump right into the haul. Okay, what an interesting view. I have all the boxes behind me. We're gonna jump right into the haul. So up first, here's the sterling check from Mackenzie Childs. This is what it looks like. This is the medium, this is the small. This is what the sterling check looks like. This is going to be going into my kitchen so i'm so happy about that one will probably be treats for the boys it's just an enamel little canister i have other mackenzie tiles pieces and if you don't know what this is check out my last video i think i explained it it's just like a home decor brand some of the pieces are funky but these are just kind of cool and i got them for my kitchen so i don't have the large one yet i do want to get the large one it just wasn't available and these are really really pricey thankfully i had a gift card that made them a little bit better these are like my dream pieces so so happy i got those up next these are just my espresso cups that i use they are so good you guys know i'm trying to work on a cleaning routine but 
I'm not quite there. I finally kind of got laundry in a routine. Up next, I need to get dishes into a routine. Anyway, long story short, I run out of espresso cups in the morning and certain cups don't fit in my espresso machine. My favorite espresso cups are these double walled ones. It's the same as my coffee cups. These ones are from Joy Jolt. They're really good. They are made from, I think it's a borosilicate glass. So yeah, this is just a pack of two and they were on sale. I'll link everything that I got down below in case you're interested in my little mini haul. What is in here? Oh, okay. So this is the Nordstrom order that I did. I ended up getting the sculpting body lotion from First Aid Beauty. So this one says it visibly firms, tones, and tightens, which tone isn't even a thing. So I don't know why people use that. It has good ingredients. I got it for my body because I thought it would be like a quick absorbing lotion post shower. And then I got two of the nightgowns from Moonlight. I got the 3X, which might have been, I, maybe I should have went with the 2X. If you can hear noises, that's Sunny in his little crate. It is his nap time and we're having this whole issue with his playpen. I'll explain that in a second when we go out into the living room. But for now he has to be in his crate, but he's not gonna be in there for long, do not worry. But yeah, so I got the dress. I'll insert a picture of what it's supposed to look like on. We'll try one of these on tonight and maybe I can put it in the washer so it'll be ready for nighttime. But it looks super comfortable. So I got it in the pink. I also got it in the black. I love both. It literally reminds me of the Hill House home dresses, just a more comfortable fabric. They were super pricey though. What is all this? Okay, so this next one is a Target package. And, oh, okay, so this is, well, these are the Infuse Mop Pads for that mop that my mom gave me. It's come in handy having a puppy. Our puppy, he's still learning how to use the potty pads. And we have to use potty pads for a couple more weeks because apparently there's something called Parvo, and it's a virus that dogs can get just by walking until they're vaccinated for it. So he can't get vaccinated for it for another couple weeks. So that's why, one, that's why I have the stroller that I got so like he can get like outside time because we don't have a backyard because we're in an apartment. Anyway, <laughs> this is the Infuse Mop insert. He's playing with his toy right now, if you can hear that. He's so cute. He loves those toys where you stick a water bottle into the toy. Adorable. So yeah, this is a non-toxic multi-surface floor cleaner. So got this to help clean up the floor from a puppy. And I think these are, what are these? Oh, these are just oversized tanks that I got. This is just a plain black one. And then I got the same thing in white. This line of tanks runs small, but they're really good. I don't wanna say they're the best quality ever. And the white is a tiny bit see-through. However, for like seven or eight bucks, yeah, eight bucks, Perfect. What's in this little package? Oh, I finally got golden hour in. Let's do a little sniff test. This was supposed to be in my affordable perfumes video, but it didn't come in time. It smells really good. Golden hour. That's a good name for it. It's like an amber kind of like sweet perfume. It smells really good. And I really love the packaging. It literally just had to do the beauty YouTuber like hand behind the product. But yeah, so this finally came in. It smells delicious. I would have put it in that video had it come in time. This is another Target package. Oh, okay. This is the box that inspired, it was inspired for me by the Sterling check. So let me show you. Okay, yeah, mine is a little beat up. Mine in store did not look this beat up. But I'll show you anyway. Here is the Target box. They only had the large in stock. They didn't have the small. I got this and it matches the Sterling check. How cute is that? I don't want checkerboard everywhere, but I do have one of these in my living room and it's super useful. I love decor that is also functional. So I got another one of the big ones since it was in stock. This should be labeled Target Hall because that's really what all this is. So I got a black and white ballerina dress. I think it's called a ballerina dress or a ballet dress. I'm not sure. It's just a white high neck tank dress. I think it's a midi. I'm not sure, but I got it in white. I'll insert a picture of what it's supposed to look like. And then I also got it in black just because, you know, staples are necessary. So I got these for spring and summer. Just a super easy thing to wear. Oh, this is an empty box. I already tried them. I got two of the Skims bras. 
Um, I'm testing them out, but they're not my favorite. I feel like they were expensive and I was expecting amazing quality. And like the stitching and the quality of the materials and fabric is good. It's just that the shape of the chest area part, the shape of the cups, just is not a shape for me. I don't know. It's just a weird shape. doesn't work for me. So I think I'm going to have to try something else. I don't know if I can return them because I already wore them. But I'll update you guys later on that if I find bras that work for me. If you have any bra recommendations, let me know. I'm really into push-up bras that are comfortable, not lacy. I hate lacy bras. It's just not the move. But I kind of caved and I got Scentbird. This is not sponsored. Do not worry about that. I bought this with my own money. I know Scentbird is overly sponsored. But I got Prada Candy and Dolce & Gabbana The One. You guys know I've been on a crazy fragrance just like rampage and so they send you i did the plan where you get two since i got two this is the size so it ends up being way 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 more affordable doing scent bird than it is even buying travel sizes of the fragrances so that's why i'm doing it so i can try out these fragrances that i want you only get one of these little cartridges but you can still spray from here like you can still spray with just this so this keeps it protected when you're on the go. This was Dolce & Gabbana, the one. I like this one. Oh my gosh, you know why? Look at the notes. It reminds me of the notes in Delina. That's funny. So yes, I got the scent bird. I will keep you guys updated if I continue to get the subscription, but it's so good. I'm really impressed. Honestly, I avoided getting it because everybody talked about scent bird for like years and I was like, there's no way that this is actually like something I care about. No way. But turns out it is something I care about. So up next, I got two candles, which I know you're like, Melissa, do you need more candles? Probably not. However, these are special. Also, you know what we need to do today? Some of my dip came off this nail, so I need to redo my nails. I've been doing my own nails. I don't know if you're impressed, but nail polish never stays on my nails for more than a day literally half a day there's something about my nails that just doesn't hold on to nail polish so i got stuff to do my own dip nails like they do at a salon and it's been revolutionary but okay these two candles i got from amazon these are different because they're supposed to be okay this one's a vanilla bean they're supposed to be odor eliminating made in the u.s it smells okay it might smell better lit up so I got vanilla bean, and then what is the other scent that I got? And this one is fresh linen. I don't know how I feel about that one. Interesting. I'll keep you guys updated on if these work or not. I just really don't want my house smelling like animals. That is like the last thing that I need in my life. So actually, to go along with that, I picked up some cleaning products from the laundress. Now she's a bougie babe, her cleaning supplies. However, whenever I use her stuff, I just feel like I'm that girl. So I got the number 247 surface cleaner. So this is just for like my counters. I got this spray. This is the number 10 fabric fresh fabric spray. <laughs> So this is, what does this say? This non-toxic formula with antibacterial properties is ideal for deodorizing outerwear, car interior, sneakers, and luggage. Perfect for refresh for freshening clothing and bedding between washes or spritzing in closets or drawers. My plan is to spray this on our couch just so the couch stays okay. Oh, also the Bissell came in. I'll show you that in a second. And this is glass and mirror cleaner. So I'm almost out of my glass and mirror cleaner, so I just picked these up. And yeah, I've used her stuff in the past. I've used her laundry stuff before. It's amazing. Again, pricey, but it's kind of an experience and it makes cleaning more fun. And that's what I need because I'm trying to make cleaning a routine so hard for me. Ooh, this smells really, really good. This is what I thought the fresh linen candle was gonna smell like. This smells amazing. Okay, the last few things. I picked up another skin fix. I haven't had this nutrient water misting tonic tonic in a while and the stuff is really good it's so refreshing in fact i'm gonna put some on right now it actually hydrates which is amazing so i picked this up and then lastly for this haul i know more perfumes but 
Soli Notes has an ambassador program, so I just filled out the form and they ended up sending me two perfumes. So this one is the almond one and I already own that. So I wanted to do a giveaway for you guys because I think this one is absolutely amazing. So maybe we'll do a giveaway when I hit 2,000 subscribers. I'll get more stuff and I'll put this in the giveaway pile because we're close to 2,000. And then they also sent me Freesia, which I don't have. So this one is a beautiful floral. By the way, I'm not getting paid to say this. They literally just sent it. There was no obligation to post, blah, blah, blah. You guys know I'm super upfront with all of that stuff. Where's the notes? So the base notes is osmanthus and sandalwood. I'm seeing the word osmanthus everywhere. I don't know what that is. Freesia, water jasmine, peach, pear, and tangerine. So obviously very floral, slightly fruity. Yeah, it literally smells like you're smelling a flower, like a fresh flower. So for me, this would be great to layer with like a vanilla or something sweet, but it's really good. I do love the packaging. Their packaging is so cute for Soli Notes. Come on, beauty guru thing work. There we go. So that is everything. We have officially made a new mess, and this is why everything is always so messy because I literally just hurricane my way through life. Did I ever show you guys my new chair? This is my new chair, by the way. She's super comfortable. Oh God. She's really comfortable. I still have the bubble wrap on the arms because we're gonna be moving eventually. We're gonna be moving eventually. So I was like, what's the point of unwrapping this? I'm gonna go clean all of this up and then we can move on to our next activity. We're back in my closet so I just took everything off my island that I had folded and some stuff that was in my laundry room I'm gonna hang it up now just so it doesn't end up again dirty in a big dirty pile I love bringing you guys along to clean with me because I hate cleaning so I feel like you guys are here with me and I have a cleaning buddy so Let's tackle everything we have to tackle today. These are all leggings. I hang them up with these hangers. These are my favorite hangers to clip up any pants. I like to hang up leggings because I feel like I forget what I have and all my leggings are basically black except I'm doing an Athleta haul. I did a huge order from Athleta to try them out. So that haul will be coming up maybe even the next video. But since most of my leggings are black, sometimes it's hard to tell them apart if they're like in a drawer. So this is the easiest way I have found to handle leggings. I did just see this other YouTuber, Christina Braley. She used shower curtain hook things to hang up her jeans and it worked well for her. I don't think you could do that with leggings, but for jeans, that was a great idea. I went through my makeup brushes you saw really fast and took out ones that I don't use. And I'm gonna get new ones that I've been wanting to get to like replace the ones that I got rid of, just because the new ones I think will be better for what I'm looking for. And then all the clothes that I showed you in this video, I forgot I had more clothes coming in because I did an order at City Chic and I did an order at Nordstrom 
for like that dress so i'm gonna have to do another video of all the clothes that i got in this haul it's gonna have to be a separate one just because uh none of it came in yet so i'll try all those on in another video maybe like next week i'll do another vlog and i'll try the clothes on where did i say i was putting my robe you know what i'll just put my robes next to nick's jeans he wouldn't care This is one of the Skims bras, and my boobs kind of fall out of the bottom. So I don't know what that means. Maybe the bra is too small. I need to keep testing it though. I only wore it for a day. We just had to take apart our entire house. It is in shambles. Oh, there's a mattress behind me. There's stuff everywhere. So we're trying to make a new space for Sunny because oh, it's this whole thing. But I'm hungry right now and I was like, I need to clear some crap out of my freezer. There's just too much in here and it goes like all the way back. I mean, it's small, but I need to make something. So I need to see what I have. Clearly Nick could put some stuff away. I was thinking I have these sausages I have broccoli in here somewhere And then I have some pierogies. So I was thinking maybe I'll make a little easy lunch really fast. All right, I'm not gonna follow any recipe. I found some butter, the sausage. Here's both of the boxes of pierogies. And I have this to use up. So I was thinking I'll just quickly boil these. I'll saute the broccoli and the sausage in a pan maybe add a tiny bit of butter i'm not sure and then it's like a really quick lunch and i don't have to think too much about it This isn't the most beautiful thing I've ever made, but it'll get the job done. It was quick and fast. There's a ton of leftovers. I'm gonna have this with it. And this should be good. And this is what I was deglazing with. 
Hi friends, we have made it back to my room. So, so much has happened since I have last been on the camera. I've been washing my bedding, we took the boys out for a walk, we got the boys food in the mail, and then I got some mail, so I was gonna show you that right now. But, oh my goodness, and then we had to rearrange the whole house again because we're trying to make a space for Sunny in the office as opposed to the living room because I do a lot of things out of the living room. Like sometimes I go there to work, sometimes I film in there, so I kinda need the living room to get stuff done because I don't have a personal office. And yeah, it's just, it's getting hectic. And then his crate is right behind me. So, oh, there's something. I'm propping you up on a bag and the bag was showing. Anyway, I got a glossy box and I also got an Ulta package. So I'll show you what was in Ulta package first. I just got three things. So the Ulta sale is going on right now. It's the 21 days of beauty. So there's like, on different days, there's different things on sale. I prefer, the Sephora event even though it's not as good of a deal per item because I can pick what I want so I did get a couple of things though so I had some points to use up I finally did I haven't really shopped at Ulta in forever but I got this Jane Iredell blush this wasn't part of the sale the only thing part of the sale was this lash food what is this Phytomedic eyelash enhancing serum so it's an eyelash serum my eyelashes have been giving me such a problem so I wanted to get all right why is this so difficult I wanted to get a lash serum and I don't normally buy lash serums because they're like freaking this was $79 originally and I think I got it for 30 something so glad I found it on sale and I wouldn't have bought it unless I had my points too so that was good I also wanted to try the Billie Eilish perfume it's really affordable but I didn't want to buy the full size until I knew if I liked it or not I know I'm, I'm sorry I'm like coming at you guys with so many perfumes lately it's just been a recent obsession so this smells so good. Some people were saying it smells like soap. Love the packaging, first of all. I'm not getting any soapy notes. It smells like vanilla, cashmere, sort of. It's just like a really soft skin vanilla, but kind of sexy scent. I've been looking for something like this. I'm definitely gonna buy the full size when I run out of this. Mm, smells good. I'll see if it wears on me over time bad. I don't know how the longevity is, but. This is great. And the last thing I got from Ulta was the Jane Iredell blush in the shade Cotton Candy. And I was looking for a lighter blush because all my blushes are pretty dark. So this is nice packaging. And so here she is. Here's the swatch. She's just a light pink. I just wanted something that was light and pink <laughs> for my blush. That's all I got from Ulta, super quick. And then I got a glossy box, which I kind of forgot about. So, yeah. I'll open it up with you. They always give you this little thing. I remember not being impressed with this last month. So, we'll just jump in and see what we got. Farmax Super Greens Cooling Gel. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, you know what? We never went through my beauty products today. Holy moly, we have so much to do. This is a hand cream. It says unicorn. I can't open it. This is a model and co highlighting shimmer whip. Oh yeah, I never use things like that, to be honest with you. What is this? A mini pigment palette. I'm worried about the color. What's the color gonna be? Peach punch. Okay. I would use everything but that purple. That purple really isn't my speed. And then lastly, there is a Luxie book. Wow, I cannot talk a Lexi brush. Mm, this isn't really good quality, to be honest with you. I'm gonna go ahead and still buy those brushes from Target. I'm probably gonna give all this to my sister. I'm gonna go and cancel this, I think. I'm not too jazzed about the contents. I much prefer finding things personal to me or doing the subscription like Scentbird where I can choose what I want. I'm just like very picky and I also have so much already so I don't need just like random stuff coming to me anymore. So this was fun while it lasted, but I'm gonna unsubscribe and yeah. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you sticking all the way to the end of the video. If you did, you are the real MVP. I appreciate all of you. And yes, let me know what you guys want for the 2000 subscriber giveaway. I was actually thinking about it a little bit earlier while I was doing my other stuff, not on camera. And I was like, maybe I should just give them gift cards because it would be easier to ship or I could just like email them to the winners. And I don't know, you guys let me know if you prefer a gift card or if you want me to go and like go shopping and send things to you guys. Totally let me know, I'm fine with anything. And yes, we're almost at 2K, which is crazy. I never thought I'd even get past literally like 10 subscribers. Wild. 
today has been such a productive day holy moly we got so much done now i need to sit down and edit this video for you guys so it goes up by tomorrow so i hope you have had an amazing sunday and if your sunday is just starting i hope you have the best day ever and i will see you guys in my next video bye